Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Indubitably, Sinise. I am Sinise. Today, I come to you with an unboxing. I haven't been actually recording my unboxings. I've just been opening my stuff and just having a great time. So I decided today with these two, which I think are going to be the last few little boxes that I get for a while, I need to really go on, go on a hiatus and really do some more exploring of the current bags that I have and kind of switch gears a little bit. But I hope that I actually achieve this. I don't know. Hi to all of my new subscribers. I am so excited that you have taken the time to actually subscribe to my channel. I hope that your time here is of a enjoyable experience. I also like to say hi to all of my old subscribers. Like, I can't really say y'all old subscribers. Y'all just my new too like for real i love you all thank you all so much for subscribing don't forget to like this video among the other videos that you have not liked you know just go back through my playlist and look at the other videos check out some purses and some other items as well as leave a comment and set up those bell notifications all right so let me get into these two boxes they both come I think they both come from Dooney.com. Yeah. Uh, let me check this one out first. Yeah, both of them come from Dooney.com. We're going to start with the bad looking box first. I just love it when my box comes smashed like that. It's like, what did y'all do? How did, how did that just get like that? It's just so weird and odd to me. But it did come smashed and I do need to use this to open it up. And it's kind of heavy, so I don't really recall what's in here. I don't believe it's a crossbody. But then again, it might be. I just thought about it. I think I did. I think I remember what both of these are. Now I'm kind of excited. Let me see. What's in this box? Oh, wow. Now, I've been wanting this bag for a number of years. And I tell you, I think I've looked at a variety of colors with this bag. One of them I, I did miss because I think it did come in purple or violet um some time ago and i just hesitated and didn't get in really life situations occurring and i just forget about it but i've been really just focusing focusing more over this last year and it was because of boredom and the pandemic that i just really like focused on bags that i hadn't received and i got a sticker got a sticker i mean y'all doing really good with these stickers don't you? thank you I just want to, I'm not ungrateful, but I just want some other varieties. But yes, thank you for the sticker. I appreciate it. I saw this on another YouTuber's um, web page or YouTube channel. And when I saw this color, I knew I had to have it. I already have um, a drawstring, yeah, a drawstring um, bag or purse in this color along with some accessories so i felt like i could not go wrong because i already have accessories if i just so happened to put the accessories in here but without further ado i bring to you the duck bag in spearmint this is number 581 of 684. this looks to be a very new bag as far as this packaging is concerned Oh, I finally have the big ducky. It's a big ducky. Look at this big ducky. Now, one of the things that um, my mom has that we cannot find right now that we probably will find when we're not looking is her coin, that big, nice Dooney coin purse. 
and she has it in all weather um leather navy color beautiful beautiful so of course that reminds me or this reminds me of that this is a big beautiful duck you cannot dismiss that this is a dummy oh wow so it does have a magnetic closure i like how it kind of curves at the bottom um with the bag as far as that closure that piece so you just lift that on up it does have this checkered pink white uh lining in here canvas lining so i think that it's probably going to be a very durable piece but the size of this on the outside is definitely not the size of the the actual bag to me so it will not really house a great deal but if you look at how this is stuffed this is how it's stuffed so you have this in there you have another bag a pouch that they really definitely stuffed in the bag all of these wonderful wonderful uh, gel packs and all of that you know you got to always have your key finder your key reminder it has a little little socket for i guess the cell phone but of course nobody's cell phone is going to uh, fit in there so I, this will be a great spot for my hand sanitizer and, and lip gloss and all that and it also has a zipper compartment which is really really tiny so tiny it does have the registration card in there this bag is not meant to really put a lot of different things in it. I mean, you don't need all of that when you carry this bag. And it does have an outside pocket. Now, what I am curious to know, if it would indeed fit my cell phone. So let me, let me go grab that. All right. So I did grab my cell phone, which is the Samsung Note. 10 plus i can't remember i think it's the 10 plus i really want to upgrade but this bag is not meant for a big old cell phone as such you know you can't do and so i'm fine with that because whenever i wear this this cell phone will be in my hand or it will be in my pocket so i'm going to be strategic as to what i'm wearing that day in order to house my cell phone but nonetheless you know you do have the outside pocket and if you're just carrying it and not really too crazy about carrying this bag with that like that i mean you possibly could put your cell phone on the outside let me take all of this plastic off and put it on so i can see what it looks like with the cell phone on the outside all right so this is how this bag carries or looks um as the crossbody with the phone on the outside to me it's kind of snug but if i'm just being really like not even barely taking this out it's really not snug and the key test is if my my purse fell over I mean, it's going to fall out. Um, and so that's not a really good look. But I haven't put my hip into it. This bag is so cute, y'all. It is so cute. I love it. It is what I have been wanting for a while. I just, I can't believe I finally went ahead and got this bag. So let's take it off and look a little bit further. It's something that I did not point out. All right, one of the most beautiful pieces of this bag is the fact that it is very reminiscent of the old bags from yesterday, yesteryears with the duck signage. I lost my duck sign, which I hope that I can um, find an authentic one to replace on my um my kelty cross or kilty crossbody trying to just pull this off but it's not cooperating the way that i want haha -ha. but this duck sign is really a reimagined bit um vintage piece uh, because it does have this leather uh background for it and 
this particular strap is just reminiscent of what is currently uh, being how the uh, current uh, DB signage is is really um, positioned and housed on this particular leather piece and so I really really love the fact that that duck is there is nice and pretty and shiny can't go wrong with this bag and it's this is the spearmint I love it love it love it let's get to the next box because I think I've spent enough time talking about this cross body let me put it over here let's get to the next box what's in this box I just cannot recall this is how the box came it was more intact than the other yet it looked like it's been through the dirt look at the bottom it looks like it's just been weathered I don't know if it was because of the the storms that came through or what but yeah it's been through it I don't oh hmm. this came right on this oh god yeah I remember now this actually was a pre-order and as soon as it hit the website on um, Dooney.com I had to get it now the I think for me is I don't have anything in this particular uh, material but my mom does and I really truly want to get her this to match her bag what am I talking about I am talking about the large framed multi DB 75 coin purse this is what I'm talking about so we got two of them one for me and one for her so let's open one of them up I just cannot decide on what to get I recorded a video that I abruptly stopped um, with that unboxing of that particular bag and decided that I knew my mom was not going to like it. I'm probably going to share that video after this, but I knew she wasn't going to like it because it was a little bit too small. Um, and so I decided to give it to my aunt for her birthday, which I have not done in her birthday has passed, but I'm going to get it to her. So this is the coin purse. This is a very nice piece for those like myself collecting coin purses. Add this to your collection. And as usual, I just love it. Just reminds me of vinyl. I think it's just so pretty. It is just so beautiful. So you all should know what the standard um, coin purse setup is. Of course, I will think this will be mine, so I'm going to take it on um, apart or open it on up. And so you do. Well, let's check it out because even though that this is the uh, multi purse, let's see what the inside slot pockets are going to look like. It, will they be vinyl or will they be the, um, I said vinyl will they be a different just regular leather let's check it out oh that fell crazy let me do a scratch test mm, i'm doing a scratch test i don't feel or hear that so this is how the inside of that looks you can see and i'm really going to stretch this out you can see that it's just a smooth leather on the inside so eh, I want to say, unfortunately, you don't get that experience of the outside and the inside of this bag. Nonetheless, I think this is a wonderful addition to your coin purse, um, large frame coin purse collection if you are indeed collecting. Um, but I do love this. I don't have many bags in black, but the colors that exist in this, I do have pretty much every bag maybe not a big bag like i don't have a really a green big bag um uh let's see i almost want to say i have everything else though but this is this is great i know when i give it to my mom tomorrow she's gonna really love this and i really do so those are my purchases i think i i do 
have another crossbody that's coming now that i remember i hope that it gets here soon because i really thought that was it but i think that box is going to be a little bit heavier so let's welcome the duck back as well as the db they could go together they could but this one would be just the whole purse if I were to put this coin purse in there, which it would only serve as organization. And see, this coin purse is actually wider than this. So to try and put this in here, and I'm going to try. This is what I'm going to end up with. It looking like that. So this bag is not meant for big things to be transferred into it just small cute items or you know not much of anything this is like if i'm going to a concert and i want to have a cute bag this is it this is it so thank you for tuning in i am going to work on my videos you all i just got a lot that i need to edit and it just takes time i'm working um in the evening times and so i just don't have a lot of time on my hands like i i uh, normally would and i'm steady trying to figure out some other content to bring to my page to my channel so thank you all for your love and your support and tune back in to tune tune to my own echo tune back in thanks y'all bye